Hey folks, I'd like to share with you a video today that is a combination of drone and still photography. The reason that is, is because I drove to this location two hours away and it was pouring rain and the weather said that it would be raining out at this location and all the way out to it. So I took my drone on the off chance that there would be some spots of weather that would allow me to fly. And as you can see, clearly there was some brief spots, but we did manage to get up in the air. But I scored some great still images out of this uh, shoot today, and I'll share some of those with you. And if you want to go to my website later and check them out, uh, it's www insightfulimagery.com. Some great images on there. I'll link them to you later in the uh, in the video. But look at this one-room schoolhouse built in the 1860s, man. Like little house on the prairie type, uh, <laughs> you know, feel to it, man. Uh, of course, I don't think Little House on the Prairie would have had a modern electrical meter on the back like this one did. But uh, this building is really, really cool. And there's some great history to it. Uh, I'll link some of that in the description of the video. The video is so short, I'm not going to go into details about the history of it because it's just too short. And I want to talk about the drone and some other stuff. But anyway, look at this. You can see that, I mean, it's really, this is like a 7,000 acre ranch out here full of cattle. And um, I guess one ranch family owns 7,000 acres out here. That's an incredible amount of land to own. But this is a beautiful place. And don't cross the fence. If, you, if you're local and you're watching this video, don't go out here and cross the fence. Respect the signs. Even if you see big, beautiful mushrooms growing on those cow pies, don't go pick them. Okay. <laughs> um, respect from the road. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a pretty building. Uh, it's unfortunate the windows are boarded up. I would like to have seen how those uh, window frames and stuff look. But there's a nice tin roof on there. It looks like there's some restoration to the front porch going on. Uh, and I heard that former students are the ones responsible for sort of restoring this building. But what a beautiful area. Imagine going out for recess and playing under the tree, eating your lunch, your biscuits that your mom made and sent with you to school. <laughs> Take a look at this. Uh, what I did here is I took my EOS R and my 35 millimeter Sigma 1.4 art lens, uh, changed my orientation to portrait, got a big tall stretch of that sky in there behind the church man uh, if you want to add drama to your skies when there's clouds like that on a on a dark you know kind of uh rainy cloudy sky just leave your cpl on you know use a tripod though uh, otherwise you'll lose too much light but anyway let's zoom in here and talk about this video some more i'm going to zoom in on the name of the school here uh, Salt Spring Valley School, Felix, California, uh, to 1945 from 1860. Anybody wants to Google that, take a look, check it out. I'll try to remember to put some links in the video description on uh, some history to the school. Sometimes I forget to do that kind of thing. Uh, and I'll try to remember this time. But, uh, you know, what a beautiful view. Look at the reservoir back there. All those rolling hills and trees and the sun sets back there to the west. Beautiful. I scored some awesome, beautifully colored sunsets this evening. Um, and I'll share those pictures with you later in this video. Uh, they're just beautiful. But let's climb up this flagpole here and take a look. You can see, man, that old wooden pole there. Just really pretty. A lot of mud around there. There are fresh tire tracks, so the ranchers do go out there. Maybe feeding the cows. I don't know what they do out there, but there's fresh tire tracks. And, and uh, you know, so this place is watched. Uh, like I say, don't cross the fence. Um, that sheriff out there in Copperopolis will definitely uh, make it a point to come visit you, you know. But let's pull away here. Come back down. Take a look at this. Other side of the building. Beautiful. Look at that old tin roof. Oh, weathered wood on the corner of the building there. Uh, they do have that modern electric meter in there. So maybe there's something going on in there. Who knows, man, you know, what their plan is with the building. But it does have a, you know, restored uh, or restoration to the front porch going on and a modern electric meter. 
you know, look at this tree. I scored some good pictures of that tree with the sun flaring behind it in the distance. I'll show you here in a little bit. Look as we pull away, though, what a beautiful scene that is. So much nature out there to just sit and listen to. And you'll hear some of it here in the other parts of the video. It's definitely windy out here. You can hear it. Here I run down the road like a buffoon with my tripod and my EOS R. <laughs> what a knucklehead. I'm the only one out there. Me and the cows. And it's definitely some wind out there. You'll hear it here in a little bit. And you hear some birds too. So here I'm going to put a plastic bag on my camera to protect it from the rain. Um, <laughs> but it blows away. <laughs> I got it. Darn that plastic bag. Anyway, we'll put it back on the camera. Uh, I'll slide, I'll make a hole through the front of it so that uh, it protects the the body. I'm not so worried about the barrel of the lens. It's a water uh, resistant lens too. So I'm not too worried about the barrel of it, but check out this picture, man. How beautiful is this? Beautiful. You can see this on my website too. Here's those sunset pictures I scored. Awesome. Appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe. Check out my website, insightfulimagery.com.